What's happening, everyone? Jay Shockblast here, and check it out. This is Star Wars The Force Unleashed on Nintendo Switch. And uh, once you've completed the first chapter of the game, it is going to introduce you to the Rogue Shadow, which is your ship for Starkiller and uh, piloted by Juno Eclipse. And as you can see, uh, you can do all your changes and upgrades and force powers and all that stuff right here on the ship. So we're going to proceed through here. Uh, looks like I've unlocked some new force powers and I've unlocked a new character for use in dual mode, Anakin Skywalker and Ayla Sakura and Luke Skywalker. Uh, unlocked some Kyber crystals. This is just after uh, completing that first mission. Uh, so we can customize our lightsaber there. But what we're actually looking for, there's a customized costume. I will catch you unawares one day, master. Force powers, so there's extras. What is it? I'm you busy. Wanna, you wanna find extras and you can enter cheat codes. So there's a ton of cheat codes that were available when the Force Unleashed first came out uh, on Xbox 360, PS3, uh, the Nintendo It doesn't Wii. look like much. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go ahead and enter some cheat codes. Uh, first thing we're gonna enter is, I'm gonna have a link uh, or a list of all the, the cheat codes from back in the day. Where are we going next? Uh, in the actual description. And that way you can enter as many as you want. I'm not gonna enter all of them right now because there's a ton. You can just basically uh, unlock everything. I'm gonna enter this one right here. This is lightsaber. And this is gonna increase our lightsaber power. And accept. To your lightsaber now does what massive is it? damage. I'm busy. All right. So there's uh, there's definitely a lot of uh, different options. Uh, you can unlock all the force powers with Tyrannus, uh, Cortis, Cortosis. Makes the player take no like damage. So you're in about. God mode. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna go ahead and enter that. Um, you can increase your force power to maximum level with Katarn. Um, then there's lots of different. Um, Where are we codes going next? For, for different skins that you can unlock. Like uh, one of the ones right here is uh, Torgruda. So let's go ahead and press T. Oh. I hope you have a plan. R. G. R. U. T. A. It doesn't look like much. So you have to Torgruda. Did I spell it wrong? Uh, I did. I don't like all this sneaking about. My bad. I can't spell. There's no to R. It's Togruda. So we're going to go ahead and just fix that. I hope you have a plan. She really hopes we have a plan. And we're going to go ahead and delete that one. <laughs> you even locked a new costume. This costume will be... Will it doesn't not look be like much. In cinematics. All right. So that is just an example of two things you can get. Like there are costumes for uh, Darth Maul and for Palpatine, Darth Vader, Shock T, which is what I just entered. I hope you have a Lando, plan. Lando, Darth Desolus. Let's let's check that one out. That's uh, P A. What is it? I'm busy. You. A. I love it. <laughs> I don't like all this so, sneaking about. Um, yeah, Drexel, Roosh, Choppa, Notimo, Shadow Trooper, Akbar, Cleef, Mara Jade, Maris Brood. Unlock all cosmetics and character. What? I've got All a right, Why didn't I just enter this one? Grand Moth. Okay. I'm just going to enter this one because this is going to unlock absolutely all the cosmetics. And we can wear whatever we want at any point in time. 
I hope you have a plan. I do have a plan. It's going to enter Grand Moth. That's what I'm doing, Juno. Grand Moth. The ship's got a few extra features I've added. Watch all the bonus costumes. Some costumes will not be used in cinematics. Okay. So let's go back. Let's go back. And if we go over here. What do you require, Master? So you got your training gear. Heavy training gear. Light training gear. Ooh, Sith robes. That looks sick. Kento's robes. Jungle combat gear. Krillian flight suit. Ooh, Rax's prime survival gear. That's nice. Bounty hunter disguise. Oh, very Boba looking. Ceremonial Jedi robes. Sith star killer armor. Oh man, that is an all time favorite right there. We got Yavin Luke. Mace Windu. Count Dooku. Ayla Sakura. We got Anakin. We got Luke. Flygon. I do not remember this from the original game. Ooh, Asajj. Can play as Proxy. General Rom Koda. Hello there. Oh man, not a lot of people remember Maris Brood. She is from this game, I believe. Oh, Mara Jade. Oh. The fact that they didn't make her Luke's wife is just crazy to me. Ooh, there is Shock T. We got Lando. Oh, wow. I did not realize who Choppa Notimo was. I don't remember him. Emperor Palpatine. Darth Desolus. Plays Juno Eclipse. A heavy trooper. Random Twi'lek. Drexel Roosh. With no eye. Azra Akbar. It's a trap. Navy Commando. Ooh, Darth Phobos. I don't even remember who that is. Final First Legion. Classic Stormtrooper. Cleef. Oof. Good old Shadow Trooper. Han Solo. And there we go. We've gone all the way through. So, I'm going to keep his Sith gear. In the second game, you could actually play as um, as Darth Re uh, Malak. That would have been really cool if he was in this one. But in any event, that is how you unlock all the codes. Uh, unlock any codes. And I would just say go ahead and enter Grand Moff and just get them all. Why, why bother going through everything? There's no achievements or anything. Unless, you, I mean, you can still find the unlocks if you really want to, but... I don't know. For me, it's just a matter of uh, convenience. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you.